So, welcome back to the channel. So, we will continue with the uh, bioprinting the materials and the techniques. Introduction was given in the next class, uh, previous class. So, today uh, now we will discuss about the bioprinting materials. So, and techniques followed by this. So, bioprinting materials. So, obviously, bioprinting materials are also known as bio inks. Okay. So, in previous class, we had discussed bio ink should contain uh, should contain what? All the materials to print biological order. And the bio printing materials are all materials are ink. That is now bio ink. In the previous class, we have discussed this. They are specifically designed to be compatible with the living cells. This also we have discussed in the previous class. And the cells, the bio inks, the bio materials are used. That should be compatible with the living cells. And the living cells are compatible with the living cells. Uh, no, uh, compatible it should not damage the living cell adu damage cell bare cells kanna damage maadabaddu athwa harm maadabaddu any uh, you know toxic effects athwa any uh, what you say allergic effects athara ella irabaddu so next uh, and also it provide a supportive environment for their growth of organization andre it will it should provide andre yeah, for example if if i have kept uh, the particular organ or a tissue there it should give its you know, uh, it should give support to the particular environment so that it will grow and it will form a particular organ. Okay. So here some of the examples are there. Kelo uh, examples are materials. So yadala materials use more than by printing technique again there. So these are some of the examples. So these are some of the examples to you uh, materials which are used for the bioprinting technique. The first thing is hydrogels. So hydrogels. Are nothing but in the name itself it is there hydrogels. Ne hydrogel is hydro and water, gels and gel or polymer kind of network. So in the name itself it is there hydro means water and gels means polymer networks that closely mimic the extracellular matrix. That means it is going to mimic and it will function as an ECM extracellular matrix. Now what is extracellular matrix? It will provide a strong you know support to the tissues and the cells inside our body. Okay, it will act as a uh, you know, physical or mechanical support for the living tissues. Okay, so under ECM under you know, it will network in that, it will be a so that will give uh, the uh, cells and the tissues ke, mechanical support. So that's how, you know, for example, now we are having ear kind of structure. Example we are taking, we will continue with that only. Now this ear uh, organ, organ, whatever, see we have got, a, if you see the uh, structure of the ear, there's a lot of curvings are there, a lot of you know, different, different structures are there. Now these structures are decided by what? In bio, in bio printing. So, uh, or in natural. So that is based on the ECM. Extracellular matrix is there. So extracellular matrix itself will uh, will give you that ear shape. So ear in shape andre extracellular matrix. Adhe tara yalla organs hu one shape alija. Adhe karna extracellular matrix. Andre adu one tara bale tara acta gatte. Adhe network tara acta gatte. Adhu organe ni cells na seed maarte ra. Cells grow a gatte. So matte ni finally ni ge organs hi gatte. That's how. So ECM will act as one network where you are seeding the cells. You are implanting the cells. The cells will grow and then it will become a tissue and then finally organ. Now that organ can be used. This is a natural uh, natural process of what happens. So they offer excellent biocompatibility, mechanical support and also can be formulated to a similar physical properties to the native tissues. So they will, uh, what are the properties that are needed for the organ when you are, or a tissue when you are implanting or replacing with a normal one. So here we need biocompatibility. So ECM has got biocompatibility. So mechanical support the property of ECM and then it can be formulated to similar properties, physical properties are same in Rebeko. So here, we can use ECM and ECM and copy it. Now, hydrogel is ECM and copy it. Mimic ECM. And then, what is ECM and copy it? And then, what is ECM and copy it? And then, they are biocompatible. Hey, ECM is biocompatible. And then, what is ECM? And then, what is mechanical support? And then, what is the physical properties? ECM and the hydrogen cell can't be and the hard work of hydrogen cell can be used to be so these all properties should be met so then only we can use the hydrogen so hydrogen are copying the property of ECM there and these are the properties of ECM and ECM these properties should also be present in hydrogen before you use it 
So examples of hydrogels used in pyrenes. So there are uh, many examples of that. Gelatin based hydrogels, alginate hydrogels, fibrin based hydrogels and collagen based hydrogels. Ilala examples of that. You may have read more than input You can remember two or three uh, examples uh, for bio inks which are hydrogels. Next material you have to cell laden aggregates. So cell laden aggregates is nothing but what in some cases what happens cells are first aggregated okay they will combine together into a biomolecule and then the biomaterials or micro tissues before being incorporated into a bio wings. So first uh, first what, what happens these cells will form a biomolecule or a biomaterials or even you can call it a micro tissue before you even incorporate into the bio inks under bio before you even in, uh, make it as a bio ink for the printing applications so in a top under cell laden aggregates and new enella components hakta jirala avella koodi on the molecule on the bio molecule on the go at the bio material and the karibo that of micro tissues and the karibo that even a model and the go in the other go before new ink synthesis print model of the kine you know aggregate they will aggregate and they will aggregate aggregate so that is called as cell laden aggregates so now these aggregates provide more physio physiological environment for the cell and as well as enhances the viability and functionality so since the, we are using for example see biomaterials are there cells are there biomaterials are there they will combine together and they will form a cell, a cell aggregate since they are uh, before printing they are aggregated so there is whatever the challenges we are facing about the cell uh, viability and fu functionality that will be you know overcome by using this now even the uh, aggregate uh, print model madligene biomolecules so cells ella ondu correct agi hondkondide athwa aggregation agi form agidre now print model mele enella uh, issues problem aagtitta cell viability problem itta functional atte aagtade illa antha problem itta aa problem na now overcome madabodu so physiological environment chanagirate so decellularized ecm so namge uh, we already know that what is extracellular matrix right now decellularize in the sense you extracellular imagine i uh, will remove this here so after removing this here there are a lot of cells tissues everything is there but it is here is not functioning so our half cut or half uh, this thing is there now i have to put a new here so what i will do i will decellularize i will remove the cells which are present in the ecm uh, in the ecm now i want only ecm so after getting the ecm now i am introducing the healthy cells and now i am growing the particular tissue or organ so ilian ma en maadta idipp andre idu the concept decellularize hesrale decellular andre cellular cells galanna tegda hakbeku yavrinda extra cellular matrix inda extra cellular matrix for example kiwi andre iga nan kiwi anna naa tegidideve ante ittkodi so aa nim kiwi alli enagutte ee ecm irutte but adrottige cells adella irutte but avella healthy cells alla so adike nivu en maadthira healthy cells healthy tissue maadakoskara adralli iruva cells galanna tegda hakthira so adanna adanne naa decellularize anta hakthivi aamele cells galanna olle cells galanna haaki matte adanna tissue aagi organ aagi maadthira so avaga ninge en sigutte decellular extra cell matrix material adakke naa actually use maadthivi so this provides a structural support biochemical signaling and regulatory functions all these three applications it will provide now the ecm of tissue can be extracted process to remove the cellular components resulting decellular Uh, decellularized extracellular matrix and right uh, so we are removing all the cells components here so that we are getting the decm that means we are removing decellularized this thing so and right these cells are taken by them sit that is decm so decm binds contain natural signaling molecules and proteins that promote cell attachment growth and differentiation so here what is happening this particular uh, decm ink uh, before printing so it contains natural signaling molecules that means these molecules can be used for natural signaling process okay and next proteins also that promote cell attachment growth and differentiation yeah, uh, so in a part that the dcm bio ink is all now it will act as a extracellular matrix adralli natural signaling uh, molecules ide so that is one of the property to signal signals idrene thane namge muscular contraction athwa na feel touch madidre feel agodu adella signal idre thane agodu so aa property irbeku amale proteins ide alla ee ecm alli avella ee eradu yenagutte ee eradu property of decm yen madutte they will promote andre 
ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಏನನ್ನ ಸೆಲ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಬೇಗ ಬೇಗ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಆಗ ಬೇಗ ಆರ್ಗನ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಟು ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಡಿ ಇ ಸಿ ಎಂ ಬಯೋಯಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಪ್ರಮೋಟ್ ದಿ ಸೆಲ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ಆರ್ಗನ್ ವೆರಿ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ಲಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಅರ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಐ ಎಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಡಿ ಸೆಲ್ಯುಲರೈಸ್ ಪೊರ್ಸೈನ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಇಂಟೆಸ್ಟೈನ್ ಸಬ್ ಮ್ಯೂಕಸ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಡಿಸೆಲ್ಯುಲರೈಸ್ ಪೊರ್ಸೈನ್ ಆರ್ ಬೋವೈನ್ ಡೆಮಿಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಡಿಸೆಲ್ಯುಲರೈಸ್ ಅಮ್ನಿಯೋಟಿಕ್ ಮೆಮ್ರಿ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ತ್ರೀ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಎನಿ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ so how exa- where exactly this particular extracellular matrix and how exactly it is very important so here we can see the representing of extracellular matrix in relation of epithelium endothelium and connective tissues for example epithelial cells these are the epithelial cells in the sense outer part of the cells for if you are taking about the hand here this whatever cells we are having on the above are epithelial cells next we are having endothelial cells that means inside the cells inside just below this whatever we are having in insert cells in the main just uh, male cells in the other endothelial uh, endothelial cells and the cartilage and uh, sorry epithelium cells and the cartilage other kelagade skin kelagade enala irutala adanna nam endothelium anta karutivi so alli sa structures irutu ivella kaanta idella ivella git 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 structure ivella matrix extra cellular matrix adu anantara matrix andre network bale tara so alli cells idaga adu mechanical support kodutte hige so basement membrane it is there so for epithelium cells endothelium lining so e for lining also we require for membrane also we require acm or connecting tissue with intestinal matrix and fibroblast for all these things to put together we need acm so if all structures are now hit kodak enadru bekalla a network is acm so next material is synthetic polymer based bioings so here in the name itself it is that synthetic polymer can be used to create bioings with well defined mechanical properties and degradation rates so in the name itself it is there it is synthetic, synthetic polymer based so here what is uh, what are the properties here the majorly two properties it, uh, it it has got that is mechanical properties and degradation rates it can be uh, manipulated by using this so these things provide a control over various parameters such as stiffness porosity degradation and to support the specific tissue engineering tools so what it does it ha- can have a way of control that means so there is control on stiffness if we want to reduce the stiffness or to increase the stiffness we can do that by by utilizing by, by uh, during synthesis of polymer or porosity also if in some organs we need porosity should be more so that the more fluid should be transferred here and there so in some organs doesn't require much porosity so there also we can have we can change that parameter next degradation so some for some cases we need to uh, that particular thing to degrade early or increase the degrade degradation rate that also can be possible so in synthetic polymer based buying in the pan right so it is well defined uh, in the polymer based andre now artificial agi polymer na use martivi next adanna buying sa use martivi now inde indukke yene use martivi andre mechanical property chana irli anta degradation rate irli anta so ivudralli yenagutte nam kelavondu property mele namma control irutte for example stiffness iga kelavondu organ smooth agive kelavondu organ yenagive hard agirutte so namge smoothness elli beko alli nam smooth maadabodu ya stiffness anna ಕಡಿಮೆ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಎಲ್ಲಿ ನಮಗೆ ಹಾರ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ಗನ್ ಬೇಕು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಟಿಕ್ನೆಸ್ ಅನ್ನು ನಾವು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಪೋರೋಸಿಟಿ ಅಂತ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಪೋರೋಸಿಟಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಈ ಹೋಲ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಫಿಲ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಹೋಲ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಹಾಗೆ ಪೋರೋಸಿಟಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಇವಾಗ ನಾವೇನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ನಮ್ಮದು ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಆರ್ಗನ್ ಕೆಲವೊಮ್ಮೆ ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಫ್ಲೂಡ್ಸ್ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಹೊರಗಡೆ ಹೋಗೋಕ್ಕೆ ಪೋರೋಸಿಟಿ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಬೇಕಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಆ ಪೋರೋಸಿಟಿ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಬೇಕಾದಾಗ ನಾವು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಇಲ್ಲ ನಮಗೆ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಹೊರಗಡೆ ಹೋಗೋ ಫ್ಲೂಡ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂದರೆ ನಾವು ಪೋರೋಸಿಟಿಯನ್ನು ಕಡಿಮೆ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಡಿಗ್ರೇಡೇಷನ್ ಡಿಗ್ರೇಡೇಷನ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಅದೇ ನಾವು ಡಿಗ್ರೇಡ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಬೇಗ ಅದು ಹೋಗ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಅದ್ರ ಅದು ಬೇಗ ಅದರದ್ದು ಅದರ ಅದ್ರ ಕೆಲಸ ಆದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ನಾವು ಡಿಗ್ರೇಡ್ ಆಗುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಅಥವಾ ಅದು ಡೆತ್ ಆಗ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಸೆಲ್ ಡೆತ್ ಅಂತ ಸೆಲ್ ಡಿಗ್ರೇಡ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೇವೆ ಸೊ ಅದು ಆಗ್ಬೋದು ಟು ಟು ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನೇಷನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಸಿಂಥೆಟಿಕ್ ಪಾಲಿಮರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡ್ ಪೆಗ್ ಪಿ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪಿ ಎಲ್ ಜಿ ಎ ಪೆಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಪಾಲಿ ಇತಾಲಿ ಗ್ಲೈಕೋ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಬಯೋಯಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಪಿ ಸಿ ಎಲ್ ಬ
So, and the last uh, material is composite biomass. Composite biomass in the sense, composite uh, bio, uh, it com it composite in the self it itself is, is nothing but combining different materials. So, combine different materials to enhance bioing's property. That means you combine two or two property. I mean, two, two different materials. So that we get two different properties. So, for example, such as mechanical strength, printability, or cell behavior. These all properties can be increased. So, in the end, composite buying is material that mix smart. Mix smart is a mix smart. The end of the properties are not Mechanical strength, printability, cell behavior, and all that. So, if you have a material that mix smart, the end of the properties are not so, other than that, helpful. Other than that, the composite is very So, these buyings often contain a combination of natural and synthetic materials or a mixture of different biomaterials. So, either they will be a combination of natural and synthetic materials or a mixture of different biomaterials. So, that means one is living or one is the artificial synthesized. So, in the end, in the mixture, mixture of one to living either both in the Artificial. On the artificial material, you know, in the in the living and living material, and you have to mix more. Examples here, here, see, gelatin is particular natural or living cell, uh, living, uh, what you say, system you can take. So, whereas uh, this particular methyl uh, cryo oil, uh, this will be your uh, synthetic material. Understood. So, illi gelatin natural material do, illi do synthetic material. Erdu combine marda ga, we will get with erdu uh, combine marda both with alginate. So, similarly, do goes for collagen combined with the hyaluronic acid and fibrin combined with the nanoparticles or growth factor. So, uh, that's it. Bioprinting techniques we will discuss in the next class.